Hey guys, ECRG here, back with another episode. As you can see by the title of today's episode, we're going to be talking about our 2021 guide to landing a clinical research job. So this is a very, very big deal because 2021 is unlike any other year that we've experienced uh, in recent memory. Uh, we all know we've got tons of things going on. We've got a pandemic. We're in the middle of a pandemic. We are... Uh, in the middle of people trying to get the pandemic under control. We've got vaccines rolling out. Uh, we've got companies dying because of the pandemic. We've got stimulus debates going on in the United States. It is just going crazy. But through the midst of this, I'm going to give you guys a 2021 guide to landing a clinical research job in this crazy year. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this episode. So the first thing you got to understand about this year that's crazy is we are in a pandemic. So nobody knows what's going to happen. Nobody knows if uh, more jobs are going to come onto the market. Unlikely it's going to be flooded. Um, nobody knows if less jobs are going to come onto the market, which I think is likely. Uh, nobody knows what's going to happen. So kind of things are kind of up in the air right now with what's going to go on in the clinical research industry um, as far as uh, the pandemic is concerned. Um, but there are a few things that are good news that you want to look out for. So in the middle of the pandemic, uh, I'd say April, May, June, a lot of sites were doing COVID-19 trials. So that automatically increased a spike in clinical research trials because all of a sudden, all, all around the country, people were wanting to do uh, COVID-19 trials. Um, but they still had other trials going on. So this was an there was an initial spike in kind of job opportunities. Uh, people were a little hesitant to hire, but they were hiring to kind of fill the need for these COVID-19 trials. So with the vaccines that have rolled out by Moderna and Pfizer, we're kind of still looking to see how that shakes out. Um, but there were already a slew of clinical research jobs in the pipeline because before the pandemic hit, um, we, they, we were expecting a record number of clinical trials for the year 2020. And I expect the same in 2021. Uh, but just the jobs to come out slower and slower because of cash flow issues uh, during the pandemic for, for these companies, for these sponsors. So the first thing you got to understand is you've got to be patient because we're in a pandemic. You've got to be patient and you've got to be vigilant. So understand that first. Um, the next thing you want to understand is you got to really know your market. You got to know your local market. And that's because local areas have different uh, levels of clinical research job opportunities. For example, if you're based in uh, San Diego or LA, you have a lot more clinical research uh, job opportunities than if you are based in, I'm just going to you know pick a random city, let's just say Columbus, Ohio. Um, and that's because you've got a lot of CRO presence there, you've got a lot of pharmaceutical company presence there, and you've got a lot of universities there that are going to be uh, doing the actual clinical research. So you want to make sure that you understand your local market and what kind of jobs are uh, most relevant to your clinical research job market. Um, and then you've got to understand if, if the jobs that you're looking for aren't really there, are you willing to relocate to a place where there's more clinical research jobs? Or are you at least willing to relocate if you're offered a job in another market? So those are some things that you've got to take into consideration. So you want to understand what kind of jobs are in your market. And you can do this by looking at any of the job posting platforms like Indeed.com. That's my favorite. You can look at Glassdoor, Monster.com, LinkedIn. And really, you should be looking at all of those to, to get your foot in the door of the clinical research industry. But my main one is Indeed. That's the one I look at most of the time throughout the day. And if you're willing to relocate, I would only relocate if the job is great. If you're offered a job and it's to a potentially, uh, if it's a potential market that has a lot more clinical research job opportunities, like a Raleigh, Durham, or a Northeast place like a New Jersey. So I would, I would look at it in that regard. So you got to understand your local job market and if you're willing to relocate or not. The next thing you want to look at is what's your measure, resume looking like? Is your resume updated? You want to make sure your resume is updated. Um, is it tailored to someone who's looking to get a job in clinical research? Now, I'm going to shameless plug. I do have a resume review program going on where you can email in your resume. Um, I'll send you back a flyer with the tons of different options that we offer. 
We've got a few different options from basic all the way up to people that want a more hold handing approach where we take you from A to Z with your resume. We don't we, we uh, include career consultation as well as interview prep in the, in, the, in that high end package. So we've got a slew of options. But anyway, you want to make sure that your resume is up to date and is good enough to be applying to these clinical research jobs because. It is competitive. It was competitive before the pandemic and is even more competitive during the pandemic. Um, because some people lost their jobs and are, a lot of people are going to be looking to get into clinical research. And clinical research is always super, super competitive, but it's going to be even more competitive in a pandemic because hiring has slowed. Um, so you got to look at your resume, guys. And then also you want to look at your interview skills. What are your interview skills like? Now, we also do interview preparation here. So if you're interested in that, email me, eliteclinicalgroup at gmail.com. Um, and we can get you on the right track for your resume as well as interviewing because you're, you're going to be competing against uh, people that it's going to be a lot of competition, basically. And the more competition you have, the better you've got to be able to interview and the better your resume has to be. So you definitely want to make sure you look at that um, when you're looking to get into the clinical research industry. And then you got to look at which kind of job you're looking to apply for. So if you're in a city with not a lot of um, CROs and pharmaceutical company presence, you're pretty much relegated to either remote jobs like clinical trial assistant potentially, um, you know, TMF, um, contracting work, um, any type of, you know, entry, very, very entry level, basic um, clinical trial assistant um, type work. Um, or you're looking at a study coordinator job at a site, at a research clinic or a site. And they have those entry level jobs um, that pop up all the time, and that's pretty much your best bet in a in a market where there's not a lot of CRO presence, and that's a good place to start. Now, if you're in a market like, let's say, um, Raleigh-Durham in Chapel Hill area in North Carolina, you're going to have your pick because you've got CROs, you've got pharmaceutical companies, you've got universities, you've got Duke, Chapel Hill that are doing tons and tons of research. In fact, Duke has their own clinical research institute. Um, that does tons and tons of clinical trials every single year. So when you're in one of these markets, you really have your who's who of clinical research job. And so you've got to consider which jobs are you going to be applying for. So I typically advise my clients um, to apply for a number of different jobs. Don't just limit yourself to just one job because it can take a long time to just get that one, one job. But really your goal is to try and get some experience. And then it's a lot easier it's, a, it's actually really a lot easier to change jobs once you actually get some experience because it seems like when you're applying, all the jobs want clinical research experience. Well, how can you get clinical research experience if all the jobs already require you to have clinical research experience? It seems like it's a, it's a catch-22 out there. So you really need to narrow down and understand which jobs you're trying to apply for um, in your given market. And then the last thing in this guide is you've got to be very aggressive, guys. I feel like a lot of people um, email me and message me saying, you know, they're trying to get into clinical research. They've applied to a couple jobs and, you know, they're not having any luck. Well, a couple ain't going to do it. More like a couple hundred. In fact, I literally advise all of my clients to shoot for 200 applied jobs. And we talk about that in detail, how to get to that. Um, it's not as obvious as a lot of people may think how you're going to get to that 200 level job mark and the process and strategy it takes to actually get into this field. Um, so if you're interested in those type of strategies and pointers, um, you definitely want to book a career consultation with me. And you can email me at eliteclinicalgroup at gmail.com for that. Um, but you've got to be aggressive when you're applying. Um, you've got to go on LinkedIn. You've got to go on Indeed. You've got to go on each company's individual website that you're looking to apply for and see what kind of jobs they have. And you've got to apply. And you've got to message the recruiters. You've got to network with the recruiters. Even in a pandemic, you can electronically network with people through LinkedIn and these other avenues. And um, you just got to be aggressive. So don't be afraid to be aggressive. Don't be afraid to be rejected. Don't be afraid to apply to jobs um, that you may not be a 100% perfect fit for, but you might be, you know, let's say you have four out of the five requirements. So don't be afraid to apply for those jobs. Um, I was just uh, talking with a client the other day about that. Uh, how they need to be a little bit more aggressive when they're applying. And that's the only way they're going to get to 200 jobs. You've got to be aggressive, guys. Um, and apply early and often. I definitely would recommend 
um, not waiting to apply for jobs. You typically don't want to wait days and days and days to apply for the job. Um, you typically want to apply earlier than that, you know, within the day or two. And don't let it go past that because they're already starting to interview candidates. So that's it for this episode, guys. Just want to give you a guide to landing a clinical research job in 2021. It's a hard year out there for all of us, guys. It's a hard year. So if you're still employed, um, I know I'm very, very thankful to still be employed when you got people losing their jobs every single day. You got people out there dying every day due to the COVID pandemic. And you've got people out there having to put their lives at risk um, for the COVID pandemic um, just to just to make money every day and pay their bills. So very, very thankful. Hope you guys are thankful for the, the work you have. And I know everyone's looking to get better, um, get, a, get a better job in 2021. Hopefully this guide to landing a clinical research job in 2021 is very, very helpful. If you would like any more help, a one-on-one help, one-on-one coaching, email me, eliteclinicalgroup at gmail.com, and we'll get you to that next level. Take care, guys.